Hey guys, it's Monica. I thought I would just share with you, and this is by no means a, a foundation test or anything of that nature because I am not like a, you know, anyone that really does that well. Anyways, but I have, many of you know I really like the CYO and you've all heard the story that it has been discontinued and you can only buy it probably up until January, February 2020. Well, I don't want to stock up on a lot of foundations because, you know, the expiration dates and all that stuff, but I do have a number of the CYO that I bought because it's really hard to color match and I found in the CYO it was the 107, sometimes mixed with the 104, that seemed to be the best mix for me. So I bought that I really like that it's very buildable it lasts all day and then boom they discontinue it so a number of you have said check out the soap and glory kick-ass foundation and I did so I have three bottles of this I have in the shade four and in the shade five two in the shade five actually five seems to be a really good shade for me right now but this just so you know the CYO is what $4.99 $5.99 this not on sale is $16.99 so you know it's like double or triple the money depending on the sale okay. I got one in Ulta and I got two in Walgreens but what I did this morning is I ended up putting on the elf I didn't bring it in here but I bought the elf poreless putty primer I put that on after I did my skincare in the morning and and then I did some sunblock and then I put on just my Benefit over my nose here. Let all that set and then I put this on. So I've had this on the number five on my face. I just wanted you to see what it kind of looks like. Yeah, it is 6.30 now. I've probably had this on since 6 o'clock this morning, so 6 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. No touch-ups. The only thing I did is when I went for, and I went out for a walk, and I was outside in the sun and the heat. When I went out for the walk, I added the, the color science on my face for additional sunblock. And, I mean, that's all. So I think this, the kick-ass, has held up really nice. There is some breakup now, some settlement, but you know what? About this time, I'm going to take my foundation off. I'm not going to keep it on. I don't want something that's going to last 24 hours. I'm not going to go romp in the hay with a full face of makeup, if you know what I mean. So I take all my makeup off and I when I go to bed. But anyways, I just wanted to share this with you because I think this came out really good. It held up really good. It's also buildable. It lasts really, really super nicely. And then, and I shared some of this on my Instagram I bought the Ulta because Ulta was having a sale and it was like, you know, buy one, get the other half off. So I wanted to, to because my favorite blush is the, the one that I have from Avon. And I'm running really low on that. And I know I can order it, but I wanted to see if I could get an other blush that I kind of like. So I picked this. And I will tell you, I really like it. This is actually called Retro Rose. Retro Rose. And so I have the Retro Rose on, and, and then I, my setting spray, I just used the NYX, the Dewy setting spray. I just sprayed that on. I don't have any contour on, nothing. I just have the Kick-Ass, the Benefit uh, on my nose, and then the Ulta Blush on today. And I, I think it held out amazingly well. I also tried two eyeshadows. So what I did is I have, because of sale, and I've been really, really itching to try these. This is, I don't even know how this is showing on the, ca on the camera. I'm sure it's a mess right now because I've been touching my eyes. But this is the, this is coffee bean. And this is plum up, plum pop. Coffee bean and plum pop. I, the, this is all I have other than I have the cream brulee and I then put this cream eyeshadow and liner and I just put that little bit of purple you know a little bit of lilac right down in the middle of my you know near my on my lower lid my lids and that's all I did so you know I mean short of looking in the mirror to see how bad I look right now I think for having worked all day, for having gone out for a power walk and got a little sweaty, came home, went out in the motorhome, checked out the carpet cleaning job that was done, and ran out for clothes in, stuff like that. And then I looked in the mirror and I said, holy mackerel, that held up really well. 
So I just wanted to film this really quick. I don't know if I'll ever share this with you, but I just wanted to film it really quick. It is August 20th and 6.36. And I've been like this pretty well since 6 o'clock this morning. I think it's done pretty well for an all-day thing. Anyways, soap and glory. Kick ass. <laughs> I like it. But I just dropped Jay off. Well, I didn't just. I dropped Jay off today at the airport. I, I've been up since three, so I'm like super, super tired. But I dropped Jay off at the airport and it was dark. He, we got there. We left the house about quarter past four. I think we got there just about five o'clock and, you know, drove into the airport and let him go. You know, he's got his golf clubs. He's got his bag. He's going to, he's going to do his thing. He's going to have a long extended weekend, spend it with his son, Justin in Atlanta. They're going to be golfing. They're going to be doing a whole bunch of different things. So I'm like super excited for him and I'm going to be a bachelorette this weekend. So that's what my week has been so far. Very, very unexciting. Except of course, you know, I've been trying out some uh, new makeup. I bought the, the uh, Kick-Ass foundation, which I've been wearing, and I like it. I, I'm not too sure about the shade. I, I did think the shade was okay in the beginning, but now I'm questioning it. But I also bought the, I bought two eyelets from Ulta. I really like them. You know, there's been no fallout. So sometimes when I do drugstore or even high end, not that I have a whole lot, I do get a lot of fallout, but there's been no fallout in these. I think these, the two that I got are really nice and creamy. So I'm kind of excited about that actually. I really, um, I really like it. So anyways, I am heading to work and yeah, we'll see what the day brings. Maybe you'll see me come back today. Good morning, world. Uh, don't look at my grays, because I sprayed some of that Batiste, is Batiste Golden Blonde to try to cover my grays, because my hairdresser has uh, a bone spur, and on her, yeah, so she can't, she's out of commission for a bit, so we're trying to see about when I can come in, but I wanted you to see this little braid I have on top of my head. Can you see that? Don't look at the gray. <laughs> Andrew from Uniwigs sent me this from the Andrew from Uniwigs Levivid collection. I don't know if this is part of the Levivid collection, but anyways, um, no, it isn't. Uh, but he sent me this little braid. He actually sent me something else too, which I'm going to review on a little bit. But he sent me also this little tiny braid and I wrapped it around my bun today. And I think that looks so cute. Grays and all. <laughs> so this is what they what they sent me sorry in my hair but this is basically what it looks like and this is in the color almond frost this is like really nice amazing wow thank you i love it uh, you know what it just added a little bit of a definition to when i put my hair in a bun and i wrapped it around they also sent me this which i've worn in some of my insta stories take a look at this this is the amber human hair in the color almond frost now i was planning on going to my hairdressers this week but i think i might have said in one of the previous clips that she got hurt i was going to have her cut layers so until i actually go back um, and have her cut layers into this i don't want to cut it anymore i have trimmed it a little bit because it was way long but look at this this is silk it has got the clips for really secure. So this is the Amber Silk Human Hair Topper rooted in the color Almond Frost with bangs. When I wore it, nobody could even tell I had it on. I mean, nobody could tell. So guys, what I want to do before I end this video is kind of share with you how my day went yesterday. Yesterday was the baby shower and what I had put on my skin, knowing that I was going to be outside all day. I knew that it was a beautiful sunny day. I think the temperatures were in the mid 70s, high 70s, beautiful breeze and we were out by the ocean. So there was an ocean breeze. It was a beautiful, cool or summer day, not a fall day because it was just, it was just a perfect day. So the sun was out and we were outside at the baby shower all day. I picked up my mom, I went and picked up the cake, and then we got to the shower right around 1 o'clock, and we did not leave till about 5.30. So from that whole time, afternoon sun, 
I was outside. So what I did, well, if you know me, you know I'm all about sunblock. I mean, why spend all that money, all that effort, put all that effort into skincare, into retin-A, into using CBD oil or rosehip seed oil or any other oil you use or skin treatment you use on your face? Why go through all of that if you're not going to do and use the number one proven anti-aging skin protecting product? which is sunblock. I don't care what you use for sunblock, but it's sunblock and broad spectrum, UVA, UVB. When you, when you go to UVA, UVA, the A stands for aging for me, and I go anti-aging. The UVA blocks those deep penetrating rays into your skin that causes the premature aging, the wrinkles, or whatever. The UVB blocks the burn which is, both of these are super important, absolutely super important. But UVA is really what, because I'm gonna protect myself. You know, I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be in the shade as much as I can, I'm gonna wear a hat, whatever I can do. But so the UVA is really super important. So yesterday, knowing I was gonna be outside, I put on in the morning, like my normal routine after my skincare, I put on my Australian Gold. This is the mineral, this is the broad spectrum, it's got a lot of good UVA protection in here as well as UVB. 50 SPF. I put it all over my face. I have to be really careful because it's drying. So I have to make sure that I've got my oil on, I moisturize my skin, otherwise I'm going to have an issue. So I put it on, I let it dry. I had to leave the house. I had to go pick up my mom. I picked her up at 11.30ish, quarter of 12. So I left the house. I finished all my makeup around 10.30. What I put on my skin, and this was actually sent to me via the Octoly Network, from the company called Swawasu. Swawasu. And this is a affecting cushion. This has 50 SPF in it. And it the color that I have is medium pink. When I ordered this on the Octoly Network, most of the color choices were out, so I took a gamble on medium pink. I also knew that I had medium pink in the Amor Pacific cushion, same thing, 50 SF, it comes in a uh, compact like this, and I really like this, I use this a lot, so I knew I had medium pink in that, so I thought maybe medium pink would be a pretty good starting point for me for this. What I didn't know at the time when they sent this was that this is actually distributed in the U.S. by a more Pacific as well, so interesting. But anyways, the company Solwasco the ingredients in this are absolutely lovely. I will link all the information. When I received this via the Octoly Network, and if you guys know how Octoly works, you have to do a review. So when I received this, I opened it up, and it came It came in this beautiful little mirror. The presentation is really pretty. What a pretty compact. I actually have gotten compliments on this compact when I've taken it out just to check my lipstick. I've, gotten, I've had compliments on it, so I thought, oh, Nice. But anyways, this came completely airtight sealed. So when you opened it up, there was a protective covering over here. When you tore it, there was a little instruction saying when you remove it, make sure that you seal this completely tight after each use to prevent the air from getting into it. So you can see, hopefully, the color. It's actually a nice color. And I'm going to put this on. Let me see. I don't know if you can see this. probably can't. <laughs> I don't think you're going to pick that up at all. When I put this on, it, it says that it is long lasting and full coverage, etc. I I did not it did not cover for example my veins. So I still had to use my concealer on that, which is my Benefit uh, industrial concealer that I use. So I still had to use that. I still had to use a little bit of a color correcting, but I put this on and I covered my whole face. Now, I already had this on, so I wasn't super, super careful about, you know, having to have like a quarter size gob of this on. So I just patted it all over my face and I added some, some blush and I went and I met my mom. And all day long, a couple of times I took it out and I looked at it just to, you know, basically what I did is I touched up my lipstick. A lot of times I sat in the shade, but I was outside. I didn't, never had any breakup. I didn't have any creases. My wrinkles didn't look any worse than they were when I put it on, which is always a good thing. Because sometimes, especially if you go up closer to your eyes, your eye wrinkles look so much worse. None of that happened. So it was actually pretty happy with how this worked on me. It lasted all day. I came home after I dropped my mom off last night. I came home, I looked in the mirror. I was actually surprised. I was going to film last night, but I was so 
tired and it was so dark and I was like nah so um but it lasted all day long. I really like this. Now, it does come with a replacement pod. So I think the retail for this is $60. And so you get the cushion. They're compact with one cushion foundation in it. And then you get a refill pod to slip in. And I like that idea. So this has been super easy to use during the work week, touch-ups on the go, and the foundation, the look on my skin has really not been bad. I have it on today, even though I haven't gone out anywhere. Maybe it's a tad bit light, I don't know, but um, I'm not really, not going to really do a whole bunch of different things today, so, but I just wanted to let you know about this because I'm actually liking this a lot, and I will say it passed my test for sunblock. Now, I wear a lot of different types of foundations. I've been trying the CYO, and I talked about that earlier. I talked about the Kick-Ass, um, my YSL, my Estee Lauder. One of the things that I bought when I went to one of the outlet malls, I think it was the, the Bay Mineral store, is I went in and I got the Estee Lauder. And this is in the color Pebble, which is my color. And I, because I really like the convenience of something like this, of being able to open it up, dab on some foundation with this sunblock, do a touch up without having to shake a jar or, or a bottle or anything like that. I just love this convenience. So I love my Estee Lauder and I have the bottle. And I said, well, this is going to be really nice. So I bought this and I bought the stick. Holy cow. So let me just, because I'm talking about the compact, I just want to say, now granted, it isn't as pretty as this. It doesn't have the 50 SPF. It's not going to be sun protection, but it is going to, it's beautiful for touching up my skin on the day. I've got the compact. I've got the same concept here, except this is a, not a cushion, you know, this is a creamy foundation here. So you put this on and you just, you have the creamy foundation. And I, I'm telling you guys, I don't know if I should do this. <laughs> oh, well, you can see it's a little bit lighter, right? But I'm telling you guys, I really, really, I love the convenience. I love the convenience of having something like this. And I'm so happy I tried the Estee Lauder because I absolutely love my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And then to find the same shade in this pretty serum compact of the Estee Lauder. I like it. So, perfect. Now, if only they could add the sunblock. 50 SPF in here, would that not be the nuts? I would love it. But in the interim, winter's coming. I can get away with just this in the morning or even a 20 or a 30 SPF winter and fall. But in summer, no, I need the help with something like this. But I just want to tell you how much I am loving and loving and enjoying this serum compact on the Estee Lauder. And also the stick. The stick is nuts. The nuts. I love it. I should probably do a review on that. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the photos that I included of the shower. It was just an absolutely beautiful day, like I said. And it was gorgeous. And my, my future daughter-in-law, the mom of the baby, she's absolutely glowing. The baby is due in October. I can't wait to meet the little fella. I, I'm just like beyond excited over it. Jay's coming home Monday night and he, um, he's, he's at that, in Atlanta, at that golf tournament, you know, where all the people got hit by a, um, a lightning or whatever. Uh, on the course, but he's he's there today, so I don't think they're having any storming weather. But he's had a great time with his son and his son's family, his um, his and his fiance and her family. So it was a really nice family event for them, and they just really really enjoyed it. He'll be home late tomorrow night. I'm going to pick him up. And he did tell me he fell on the golf course, so his pride was a little hard. He tripped over something and went face down, splat. And he said his pride hurt, but he also was bleeding and a little bit bruised. And I'm like, oh, ah, not good if he's bleeding. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for being with me. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye.